Hey YouTube, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel if you're not new here. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and like this video because I love your support and your support is what lights a fire inside of me. We are 15 weeks out from our first ever bikini competition and I am so excited to share this journey with you all. As you saw this morning, I got up, walked right to the gym. The gym's about five minutes walked from my house. So I walked to the gym, did my cardio, came home, practiced my posing. I sent my check-ins to my coach. Um, here are my check-in photos here. Okay, yeah, I'm really proud of where we're sitting right now for 15 weeks out. So that was really good. I will update you guys when I hear back from her and she tells me what the plans are for the next up and coming week. Um, so every morning I do my cardio, practice my posing. I also do back stretches and stomach vacuums to help tighten up my core. Now I am going to make some breakfast, but before I show you guys what I have for breakfast, yesterday I did film a little clip about my why behind competing and I really want to start this first video off with that so anyone new here can get an understanding about who I am and why I'm doing this. So cue that clip and then I'll see you for breakfast. So one thing that I did want to chat about in this video is my why behind competing, why I'm doing this because so many people, I think it's crazy, think you're starving yourself, think you're doing too much cardio, you're getting too small. Like, why would you want to put yourself through this? And a lot of you, if you know me, you know that in October I lost my dad to brain cancer. And it was one of the hardest things that I ever ever gone through it 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 was it affects me every single day but it made me stronger and and it just it shaped me into a different person and I've wanted to compete for years I've been inspired by these people for years but I felt like I couldn't do it and I was just telling myself that I couldn't do it. And after I went through my crazy traumatic experience, it showed me that we only get one chance. You only have one freaking shot, so go for it. So I started taking my training way more seriously, taking my nutrition way more seriously. I got with my coach Natalie who I adore and who she she is just guiding me down the path to I the path that I could only dream of being on. Bear Aesthetics, my team is by far the best team, the best support system. And I'm doing this because I want to. Because I'm inspired by these people and I want to be one of those people that pushes themselves to their limits and sees how far they can take their body because you want to know what? I only have one shot at this life. We all do. So we might as well just go after what we want and that's what I'm doing. That's why I decided to make this jump and oh, I couldn't be any happier. I am lit up each and every day when I get to go do cardio, when I get to go lift, when I get to stretch, when I get to do my stomach vacuums, when I probably feel my body, it fires me up to the max. And I just love it. I love this lifestyle. I love the grit, the determination, the routine. I feel like I am thriving and I'm doing it for my dad because he taught me how to be a hard worker and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work my butt off and see where it takes me. 
So here is everything. So I have my bowl of oats here. I tend to eat the exact same thing for breakfast every day because I love it. I am not on a meal plan. I track my macros, so I have a certain number of protein, carbs, and fats that I put in every day, and I kind of make my own meals out of those macros that my coach prescribes for me. So, one of my favorite meals to always put in is my better oats, egg white oatmeal. I'm gonna go enjoy this, and I'll catch up with you guys. So, we have my lunch heating up here on the pan. I will show you the finished product in just a moment. Okay, so here we have my lunch. It kind of looks like a big mess of stuff on a plate, but it is squash noodles that you just heat up in the microwave and then I throw them on the pan. Green beans, ground turkey, peppers and onions. I literally die for this meal. I love it. It's so filling, so satisfying. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go eat this. I've just been working on some client plans and just chilling today because it is my day off from my normal job. So, I'm gonna go have some lunch and I'll chat with you soon. Okay, so now we have meal number three. My pre-workout meal, it's a omelet and it has peppers, onions, turkey bacon with two rice cakes and then I put some of the eggs on the rice cakes. So I'm gonna go eat this and then Duncan will be home from work and we are going to head on down to the gym. Like I said earlier, it's just like a five minute walk. So we'll walk down there and I am hitting a pull workout today. So that will be the next thing you're seeing in this video. I'm just gonna show some clips, highlights, some of my favorite movements and maybe give you guys some ideas of what you could add to your next pull day. So I'm gonna go eat my omelet and then head to the gym. We crushed it. We are done. The work Enjoy this and I will catch up with you guys soon. Okay, so we are now at the beach for dinner because we like to get away and just get out of the house. So we do little date nights here at the picnic tables. I have a little taco salad bowl. It has chicken, salsa, green peppers, cauliflower rice, coleslaw, and green beans. I'm going to enjoy this and I'm going to eat one more thing tonight so I will check in with you guys in a bit. Alrighty, so we have the last meal of the day here. This is a bowl of Greek yogurt with 5 grams of protein powder mixed in. I am going to stick it in the freezer. I like to stick it in there for like 10 minutes. It turns it into like frozen yogurt. Good tip. And then I'm going to top it with frozen blueberries, PB2. I just mix this with water and then drizzle it on top. And then some puffed wheat, which is like cereal that I put on, but it's kind of like granola. And you get a lot, like a lot, a big serving for a low amount of carbs. So it's a good little hack there. Um, and that's all for today. My coach didn't have any updates, so we're going to keep it stable this week. And I'm hoping to vlog every week for you guys. Um, I really want to share this whole journey with everyone because I get so inspired by people sharing their journey. So maybe I can inspire someone from sharing my journey. 
So I'm gonna end the video here. Make sure to like, subscribe, share the video with a friend so we can have more people along this journey. Thanks guys.